No Hades 2 info, nothing for Silk Song, but I didn't expect anything and I certainly hope you all didn't. My expectations are filled. Honestly, with this announcement right here, this is really all I need. Rivals of Aether. Is this Rivals of Aether? World premiere. Oh, it's not. Dead Cells Dev. Yo, this is the art that they showed us, not like the actual characters, but they showed us the landscape for concept art. Okay, four player action. Animated cutscenes. Who's trying to squat up? I mean, I see death, so maybe it is a roguelite to die and retry. <laughs> Why are they always so brutal in their cutscenes? Where's my wallet? New Dead Cells just dropped with the Axolotl? Or is this like an Echidna? Windblown! Brave the Vortex and dash your way to greatness in this lightning fast action roguelike confirmed from the creators of Dead Cells alone also confirmed. Become the ultimate killing machine as you enhance your skills and master your weapons in search of that perfect run. Early access, wishlist me. Oh snap, I'm logged in. Uh, wake up warriors, this is Windblown, the lightning fast action roguelike crafted by Motion Twin. You innocent souls have lived peacefully in the arc of floating village orbiting around a giant and deadly vortex. However, don't let that calm existence fool you. Your cozy little island is about to get devoured. Countless warriors, the Leapers, have met their end fighting dreadful emissaries of the vortex. Now it's your turn to save your kind or turn into cannon fodder. We got a little action sequence. A lot of dodging in this game, uh, but apparently there's like literal attacks that might have dodge capability, which is cool. Windblown brings a whole new level of speed to the action roguelike genre. Like a bolt of lightning freely dashed through vast ever-changing islands in the sky, which where each run is teeming with secrets to uncover. Find your rhythm in relentless battles against the Vortex of Sentinels, hell bent on taking you down, brace yourself, and face oppressive bosses who just can't wait to chew you up. But we don't know because it is an action roguelite. Is like, is it character based like Gunfire Reborn? So like you have your own character which has a specific kit and then you basically augment the kit by finding stuff. Or is it like Dead Cells where your character is basically a blank slate and you build off of whatever you found. Leapers absorb the memories of the fallen warriors who came before, learning how to master the fighting style of the predecessors to unleash their full potential, swap between multiple weapons, and adapt to every situation by shifting your build on the fly. As you unlock more memories, you will be able to collect stronger and more complex weapons that will turn you into the ultimate killing machine. So that makes me think that the character is largely not a part of the kit. Maybe like like, I'm just looking at this sword, for example. Like, maybe Axolotl uses this sword, but all of your character's abilities and power-ups are based off of what you found, which is a little closer to Dead Cells, but the advantage of something like Gunfire Reborn is that you can, like, sort of learn a specific character and do well on that, and then you learn other characters, and then DLC and add characters and then each character has like a learning curve to it so i hope it at least has a little bit of character based stuff um because as much as i like the the axolotl if they release the buster um, i might i might be playing the cat death is a lesson the vortex will push you to the limit wind blows combat is tough but always fair thank you for telling us that ahead of time advance carefully Though at a mistimed dash could send you right into the deadly swing of a sentinel's blade. Learn from your countless deaths, memorize enemy movements, and come back stronger. If you can't handle it on your own, you can always seek the help of your buddies. Your feedback is invaluable. Just as so you helped us shape dead cells during early access, we would like to gather your thoughts to make this game as best as it can be. Alright, wishlist the game, people. 
devs need you to wishlist their game so that the algorithm for Steam knows it's there. Uh, now go and prove yourselves, Leapers. The world of Windblown awaits, and we can't wait to watch you try over and over and over. Leap into lightning fast adventure through sky and get ready for a colorful death. All right, we did already see the trailer. Some screenshots. We got a, um, what's the name of the Pokemon? The Frog Ninja. That's like OP in every single video game that they introduced. It's OP in Unite. It's OP in the card game. It's OP in the original game, which I think they nerfed it going into um, the latest Pokemon games. You can be a lizard. Is that a bat? You can be Rouge the bat. Never mind, I'm not playing the cat anymore. Training dummy. It took us years to get a training dummy in Dead Cells. Looks like they learned their lesson. Like I said, they gave us concept art right around Castlevania release. And it was literally this. So I don't know how long they've been cooking this game, but this is actually sick. Yeah, like if this is one map right here. Also, this is kind of nice because um, Gunfire has this setup, but Risk of Rain 2 does not. Risk of Rain 2 is very much like a big block and it might have verticality to it, but half of Risk of Rain 2 is like finding the teleporter and then like, finding the treasure chests, which are hidden all around the map. So if it's a little more linear, of course, I would love it to have like branching paths similar to how Inkbound does it. Inkbound is actually a really cool setup. I think that would be my ideal way to have it and not be a literal straight line. Okay, we got boss combat. You can be a heavy crossbow user. You can be twin dagger. That's the last one. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Uh, we have no date information. We have no nothing. If I find out anything, I will definitely let you all know if you aren't like on Discord. I don't know where else we would really get information for a title like this. So I just say, you know, keep your eyes peeled on YouTube. If we see anything come across, I'll try to make a vid about it as soon as possible. Um, either way, that's it for me. Hope you all enjoyed and catch you on the next video.